Hey everybody, it is Leslie Green, the Hungry Housewife, here for Real Women of Philadelphia. Hi, Real Women of Philadelphia and Paula Dean. I am going to show you a delicious appetizer that even my hoity-toityest of friends expect for me to have at any party I have, whether it's a barbecue or a fancy dinner party, they expect for my beer cheese to be there. I have been making this beer cheese since I swear I was in the womb. So it's really simple and it's a super duper party pleaser. It's got a little kick with garlic, but you are going to love it. This is what you need. Super simple. Two blocks of room temperature Philadelphia cream cheese, 32 ounces of the Velveeta, three cloves of garlic that we're going to mince, two jars of old English cheese. If you've never seen this, it's usually like towards the top of the shelf um, at the grocery store near the... Um, Velveeta cheese. You're also going to need uh, 12 ounces of beer that you have taken all the bubbles out. And how do you do that? Well, you just sit there and stir and stir and stir and all the bubbles will eventually come out. My husband likes to call that skunky beer, but whatever. I like to use flat beer when I cook. And you need two loaves of nice big round bread. I have a pumpernickel for you pumpernickel people. Some people are pumpernickel, some people are pumpernickel. So I have pumpernickel and then I also have this delicious bread called White Mountain that I'm actually going to use to put the dip in. So I'm super excited because I love this dip and I love that it uses Philadelphia cream cheese. So I will show you how to make it. It's super simple. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and we have all of our ingredients ready. Everything's at room temperature, which is really important when you are mixing all of these cheeses together. So let's go ahead and start with our Philadelphia cream cheese. We have one and we have two. And what I like to do is just mix them up as I add the separate cheeses. Because let me tell you, your arm is going to be hurting you <laughs> because it takes a while to mix this stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and mix this. I'm going to start to mix the cream cheese. Cream cheese is nice and softened, and I'm going to take the Old English cheese, and I'm going to add both of the containers to the Philadelphia cream cheese. Okay, now that I have both jars of the Old English in there, I'm going to mix it up with the Philadelphia cream cheese. That's done. Now is the tough part. You have this big old block of Velveeta cheese. And what you're going to do is just cut it up in little cubes because that's going to make your life so much simpler. Okay, you ready for this? We are going to add the Velveeta cheese, I would say half and half. Do a little bit at a time. I would put half the block in now. We'll add some garlic and then the beer, and then we will add the other block of Velveeta cheese. Okay, half of the Velveeta is in, and I am going to get my garlic in there because that's what gives it the little garlic bite that everybody who tastes this dip, they just go crazy over. So I'm gonna peel my garlic, do that, you just take your knife and smash it on the cutting board, and the skins come right off. And you can either mince it with your knife, but I like it really, really fine. And for TV purposes, I will use my handy dandy garlic press. <laughs> because look how fast that is. And if you're a crazy mom like I am, the last thing you want to be doing is mincing garlic all day long, <laughs> all day long. Three cloves of garlic is the perfect amount. Scrape it on the side there. Get that mixed in. Now what I'm going to do now is start adding some of our skunky beer, as our husbands would like to call it. Just a little bit at a time is fine. And then once I have that incorporated in, I will add some more Velveeta, the rest of the block of Velveeta. My husband is going to be so happy when he comes home tonight, and this is in the refrigerator for him. 
Okay, now that I have all the cheese incorporated, I am gonna go ahead and add the magic ingredient, which is the beer, why it's called beer cheese. Just add it all in there. It's gonna look watery, but don't worry. It'll all get mixed in. Now this is the part that's gonna take a few minutes. It's gonna probably take about five minutes for you to mix this so it's nice, nice and smooth. And here's a trick while you're mixing this cheese together. Try not to get your beaters out into the air because that will incorporate a whole bunch of air into your cheese mix and it'll be puffy. If that's even a culinary word, you'll have puffy cheese dip. And you don't want puffy cheese dip. You want smooth cheese dip. So try to keep your beaters into the cheese. Still mixing. Still here, mixing the beer cheese. I've kicked the mixer up to high now. Why in the world I did not use my stand mixer? I don't know because I usually do, but we'll get there, people. We'll get there, I promise. Woo! Did your arm hurt yet? <laughs> All right, we are done. It's not that bad. It only takes about five minutes. And if for any reason, if your cheese is not thin enough, feel free to add more beer. There's nothing wrong with adding more beer. Let me clean up my mess, and I will be right back. All right, I cleaned up my mess. I never said I was a clean cook. Now here comes the fun part, the bread. Now you have a decision to make. Which bread do you want to hold the cheese? That's your decision. <laughs> so hard. And I am going to take my white mountain, my nice big white one here because it's bigger and it'll hold more cheese. So basically you're going to make a bread bowl, a delicious bread bowl. You just kind of cut around in a circle kind of like you would do a pumpkin, the, the lid of a pumpkin, I guess. And then you just take it off, save that, because we're also gonna use any bread that we cut up as the dipping, dipping, dip, 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 dipping. And I'm gonna to continue to cut the inside of this out. Just make sure you don't go all the way through because then your cheese would leak everywhere once you poured it in and that would not be a pretty sight. That would not be a pretty sight. Now what I do, since I'm tearing the white bread, I'm gonna make the white bread the rustic bread and then we'll actually cut the pumpernickel so it's in pretty little cubes for people to dip. Okay, I got my bread bowl made, pretty little bowl. Now we're gonna go ahead and cut the pumpernickel into bite-sized pieces. The perfect pieces to dip in our beer cheese made with Philadelphia cream cheese. Now while I'm cutting this, I did want to let you know that you can make this a day in advance. Actually, it's better if you make it a day in advance because the garlic and the beer and the cheese and all those yummy flavors actually get to mingle in the refrigerator for a day and it tastes better the next day. So if you're having a party, this is a perfect party food because you don't have to worry about it the day of the party. I have all of my delicious pumpernickel and white mountain bread cut up for our dipping and I'm going to scooch everything on over, put my bread bowl in the middle, take my super delicious beer cheese made with Philadelphia, Philadelphia cream cheese and pour it in my bread bowl. Now you're gonna have lots of leftovers, but that's okay, because you will be refilling this all throughout the night. And then take your bread, arrange it in cute little piles around your bowl, your delicious bread bowl. Now, it does look a little boring, so what I'm going to do is add just a little bit of fresh parsley to the top so it looks pretty when your guests arrive. It won't look pretty for long, let me tell you. They will be eating their way through this. This is my beer cheese made with Philadelphia cream cheese. Thank you so much for letting me be a part of Real Women of Philadelphia, and if you'll excuse me, I'm going to take a bite of my beer cheese, pumpernickel or White Mountain. I think I'll do both. Mmm. <laughs> oh! You have to make this. You will make so many best friends. Bye-bye. Thank you.